side note, um, for the winter, I had to bring my fish inside from my pond outside. They're going to freeze to death if I leave them out there. But, as you can see, that guy's pretty big. It smells, so I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you can stand the smell. And the water's pretty dirty because i got to change it. The plant's kind of dying and making it change colors. But, uh, carp are edible fish and a koi. Koi is a form of domesticated carp. I got another big one down there. I got this big guy over here. What what you could do, I guess, if you can't have chickens or goats on your land or whatnot, which I can't because I live in a townhome. But, uh, I mean, I, I think you could set up some kind of carp farm if you really wanted to, if it made, if you, if it helped you sleep at night knowing that you got uh, renewable food, you know. My mom bought some koi for her pond in the start of the summer. And they had a gazillion babies. These things breed like crazy. Uh, they're easy to take care of. They're real sturdy fish. The only thing I heard is that they taste kind of bad. But, I mean, when you don't got food and you got big fish like this to eat, uh, why not, you know? So, I mean, if space permits and you can deal with the fishy smell in your basement, it might be good to get, like, some... Uh, those horse trawls where they fill them up with water and the horses drink out of them, they're pretty large. You might want to get a couple of those if you can. I'm not going to do it because it's just, I don't have enough space down here. It's just a suggestion. Um, you could breed these guys pretty easy if you had a big enough, big enough uh, water water tub. Get you, This tub of where isn't big enough. Get something big, like I said, a horse trawl or whatever you call it. Fill it up with water. Get yourself some filtration going. Uh, make sure you have food for them to eat a little bit. I mean, these guys are sturdy fish. I rescued that big guy from my friend's house. He didn't feed them for like a year. I don't know how they survived. These are sturdy fish. They're edible. They grow pretty large. Uh, just a good thing to have if you're worried about it. Some renewable food source. So it's just something to think about. Something I thought about. Don't be scared. Be prepared for the worst. For the worst. Don't be scared. Be prepared for the worst. Yeah.